2010, collaborations between chemists and biologists are minimal in the Lemanic area. Several outstanding researchers decided to develop interdisciplinary research to visualize and control biological processes using chemistry. We created the NCCR Chemical Biology, an open, collaborative, and interdisciplinary approach bringing together biology, biochemistry, chemistry, and physics. The journey started thanks to the financial support of the Swiss National Science Foundation, the University of Geneva, and the EPFL. Over the years, we brought major structural changes at the University of Geneva and the EPFL with reorientation of several positions from chemistry and biochemistry to focus on chemical biology. Several new faculty positions were created and filled with promising investigators. Over our life cycle, the NCCR Chemical Biology relied on a backbone of 27 groups, hosted 54 master students, 147 PhD students, and 145 postdocs. We reinforced and established technology platforms that provide know-how and support for genetic and chemical screens, medicinal chemistry, and high-throughput technologies, including microscopy. These platforms have facilitated some of our seminal discoveries, especially at the beginning of the NCCR, where high-throughput screening facilities was largely restricted to Big Pharma. In addition, we were involved in the development of a mass spectrometry platform in Geneva. During these years, we published over 700 peer-reviewed articles, several of which are in the top 1% of all publications in their field. Our most illustrious and illustrative discovery is the development of a new tool called Flipper that has the potential to revolutionize research in mechanobiology. A selection of our biggest advances also includes developments such as turn-on fluorescent probes, allowing the creation of new chemical biology tools or applications. The International Symposium on Chemical Biology attracted each time more than 200 participants and contributed to the international visibility of our network. We created an enduring spirit of collaboration between labs from the University of Geneva and EPFL. Knowledge exchange was best accomplished at our yearly retreat. In our master's program, we recruited outstanding scholars from all over the world. 38 students graduated so far from our Master in Chemical Biology. We launched the first MOOC on Chemical Biology, which has already attracted more than 15,000 participants. We organized a great variety of outreach activities for lay audiences and are so proud of the involvement and enthusiasm of our junior researchers. We implemented a workshop to help translate research to business. The Bench to Biz Workshop is run today by a consortium of 10 NCCRs. To support gender balance, the NCCR supported young parents with parental work leaves and childcare support. We organized workshops on professional skills, encouraged good practice to increase the chances of success for our young scientists, and promoted gender equality. The NCCR directorate today is different than at the beginning, but our belief is similar. Chemical biology approaches can answer questions that the separate disciplines alone cannot. At this turning point in our history, we are facing the future with a new ambition. Continue to be the center of reference in Switzerland for education and research in chemical biology. Success has no meaning without acknowledging the contribution of people. We would like to express our gratitude to all the people, from PIs to master students, who contributed to our renown and marked our presence and virtues within the scientific and lay communities. We thank also the SNSF, the panelists, the University of Geneva, and the EPFL for their constant support. <laughs>